Although the Netflix series has been canceled, no more Don Bernthal as Punisher as of right now. For what I understand, that's it. But as Mezco always does, we do get the releases a little bit later on um, than, you know, compared to when a movie is released for that figure or a show and whatnot. So here's the Punisher. We got Daredevil a while back. And finally, the Punisher, after a couple of delays, he is here. Here is the front the box. Got our classic uh, Punisher logo with the skull. And there's the side. And in the back side, we get uh, the contents inside of the box, which we're going to see that right now. So let's check it out. Open it up. All right, all right. So before I start this review, I got to let you guys know, you guys got to check out OneStopToyShop.com. That is where I got this figure. And people always ask me where I get my figures. I get my figures depending on what line it is uh, from different sources. But uh, Mezco 112 I get from One Stop Toy Shop. And you guys can check it out. There's a link down below. Actually, I'm going to show you guys a little cool thing here. Uh, here's the website. It's how it looks on an app or on the web or on your phone. Jeez. So on the phone, it looks like this. And they recently added more things. So we have Mondo now. We have NECA Super 7 just recently because of the uh, Thundercats line that just got unveiled. So you're getting more options as time goes by. Um, so that's cool in case you guys are wondering or uh, curious on other lines such as Thundercats. You have the option again in here. Now, do you guys want to get $10 off a $10 coupon? It's very simple. What you do is go down to the bottom, subscribe to their newsletter, and receive $10 coupon. So it's on uh, promotions, new products, and sales directly to your inbox. Uh, code I want news applies to full orders only, cannot be applied to non refundable deposit, one per customer and household. Orders can be canceled if coupon is abused, so don't be jerks about it. Just uh, sign up once, get your ten dollars, and get uh, get ten dollars off of uh, any order that you get from here. So that's pretty cool. A uh, little discount coupon code there just for signing up for their newsletter. But uh, OneStopToyShop.com with the number one is where you want to go and pick yourself up a John Bernthal Netflix series Punisher because he looks great. Definitely does look good out of package as soon as I got him out of the box. Uh, the first thing that stands out to me and what will probably stand out to you not only is the vest uh, torso piece, but the face sculpt is phenomenal. I really love what they did here. Uh, it looks almost perfect to John Bertha for, for a 6 inch figure, a 112 figure. Uh, it's it's close to uh, the quality that you might see in Hot Toys. You know, it might be might be a stretch saying that right there. It's not going to be 100% a Hot Toy quality face sculpt, but it's damn near close to it, in my opinion. Uh, it looks like him. You know, I really see John Bernthal right there. I really do. Uh, so, looks good so far. This is how he's packed in the package as soon as you get him out. He does come with a jacket or a trench coat. So here it is. So that does not come you know, on him, but you can put it on him if you want. We'll do that later. And he does get an alternate face. So this one has a little bit of battle damage. I'm going to pop it off for you guys here. Uh, and it is the head and neck combination. So some people may not like that. Some people may not mind it. Um, so, yeah, I, if you ask me, I prefer the, the separate neck piece, but sometimes this works too, so it's not that big of a deal for me. But you can see he's got a little scar or scratch on his cheek and on his lip, which is cool. This is just a normal, uh, normal, uh, Frank Castle here, but when he's in a real tussle or fight, we have a lot more blood, so this is cool too. So I like this, the scratches, uh, multiple scratches and blood marks on him and that's it so we get two heads and they both look great they both look just like him in my opinion you see his mouth is slightly open and this one showing a little bit of teeth and his eyebrows are a little bit more serious there so it's very subtle but i can definitely see the difference in his mood or, or his facial expression here um so something that just came to mind now is if they could Maybe make a PX exclusive or a Mezco exclusive of his outfit when he's in the prison um, and he's all bloodied up when he kills a bunch of people and he's all bloody. Uh, that would be pretty cool. You know, that's something they could do. Moving on, we have a pistol. So our traditional Mezco pistol with a removable magazine. I always like this feature and you can actually cock back the pistol too right here. And then we have another pistol. So this is more of a revolver like pistol and you can even rotate uh, the the chamber. Is that what that is? I'm not too gun savvy, so forgive me if I mess up on some of the terms. 
uh, when it comes to guns, but this does rotate. I, I'm going to assume that's the chamber because that's where you put the bullets. We get an extra magazine for the regular pistol, the M M9 or M19. I don't know what kind of gun that is. Again, not gun savvy, so forgive me. We have a knife, so pretty cool. It's a black bladed knife, which is weird, but it's cool nonetheless. Gun effects or bullet effects are always nice, so we've gotten this before with uh, comic versions of Punisher. And then we have the three bullet effect here, so it's kind of like he's spraying up and down or to the side. Um, and then we get a big Gatling gun turret, which is nice. This does rotate around. I always like that they make these features for their weapons. And then we have our bullets for that. So that's about it for weapons. Now we have hands. We have the pair of fists that are on the figure itself. Then we do get some open palm hands. You can see they're both slightly different from each other. Some trigger finger hands to hold some weapons. And then some regular grabby hands here to just grab onto something with all of his fingers. So not only can you hold the weapons in his hands, of course, but you can holster them. And here we have a little pistol holster for his sidearm here. So that goes here. And then we have a little holster for his knife. So the Kanife goes back here just nicely right there so now he's armed ready to go and you can hold his other revolver in his hand if you want or the turret gun if you prefer that and i really do like the torso vest piece really nice um even though it's very simplistic here the, the paint is just a skull painted and then these little pieces painted and that's about it but the sculpt and overall look looks good the feel looks you know it feels good too and then a quick look at him with his trench coat on, and no, this isn't the Gomez trench coat because that one actually zips up and this one does not. Uh, but we do get some bendy wires right here so you can have it kind of like flaying in the wind, which is always cool. And then also the collar kind of pops up when you first put it on, it's like that. You know, it's like a vampire, you gotta put it down because that just looks ridiculous. Uh, so you just gotta play with it and just adjust it, but it looks good nonetheless. So you can have, you, you got the option of having a trench coat or not, which is always Good. I like it. So, of course, uh, the trench coat will limit some of the articulation. I'm going to take it off just to show you guys his full range that he can do. So, you will have to take it off to get some more range, of course. That's pretty obvious. Um, so, let's just get started here. So we got the head moving left and right against connected to the neck. So, the neck moves with it. When he looks up, it's going to be about this high. When he looks down, it's going to be about that low. And you can kind of tilt the head too, which is cool. Uh, the arms are going to go forward and back all the way around. So that's nice. In and out about this far. So T-pose. And then we don't have a bicep swivel. We only get a single jointed elbow, which may disappoint people. Um, here you can kind of see that better, or you can see that. The sleeves roll up too, which is nice, because you have the option to, you know, you can have him rolling up his sleeves. Why not? That could happen. And the only thing is, is that the skin tone doesn't exactly match with his wrist peg especially so if you don't mind that then it's no big deal but uh, this arm still has it but they actually both come with plastic paper on the arm kind of weird so uh, yeah you might have to rip that off if you want to roll up his sleeves I, I ripped off the other one obviously but both arms did come with this piece of plastic protective paper here it is so just take that off and now he looks a little better in terms of torso articulation of course we have the vest on so ab crunch slash diaphragm joint not really gonna happen here which is I mean I, I guess if you're really wearing a vest in real life that's bulletproof and thick you're not gonna have much range in your abdominal area anyways so it doesn't bother me does this remove it does remove we have three pegs on the side here so you can pull this right off and pull the vest completely off. It's just going to be a black shirt underneath, just so you guys know. And it is connected to the pants, so you can't take off the shirt or you can't take off the pants for you freaky people out there. Um, you're going to have to cut it open if you want to, uh, I guess, modify the figure in any way. The legs are going to kick forward about this far up. They're going to go back. They go in and out um, about that far. I'm getting a little scared now to go any further, so I won't. Uh, the thighs are going to swivel, double jointed knees. I like how the texture on those knee pads are there. I like that. Uh, and the ankles are going to go forward and back. There's a pivot. There's a swivel there. There is not a boot cut. And that's, that's it for your articulation. 
All right, and right next to the Mezco 112 Collective Daredevil Netflix version, there you go. So I personally feel like they did a better job making Punisher uh, than they did making this Daredevil. And it has to do with the tailoring of the costume and suit. Um, I just kind of feel as uh, Daredevil gets a little awkward at the groin area and at the shoulders and kind of like his uh, torso piece. It, it just feels like maybe it's just a little bit too big on him. Um, so it looks awkward in some poses uh, where, you know, Punisher doesn't look awkward anywhere uh, in terms of his tailoring and his cloth goods. Um, but that is uh, it. Other than that, Daredevil's a pretty solid looking figure. But if I did have to choose uh, which one they did a better job on, I'd have to say um, Punisher for sure. Well, the comic book meets the uh, television series here and we have our regular release of the comic book. Punisher, not Comic Punisher, because they made an exclusive called Comic Punisher or something, or Classic Punisher. I don't know. They're all Comic Punishers, right? I think that was Classic. I'm getting messed up here, but this is just the regular release here, um, and you can just see the difference here. All right, and now we have the Mezco exclusive. I believe this was San Diego Comic Con from last year. I could be mistaken, so don't kill me on that. But uh, this is the more tactical Spec Ops version of. Punisher and he's got the mask here so that's how he looks there so now the question is can you swap heads and can you put some of the extra heads that came with these older Punishers that are hard to get now can you put it on this body and can we get you know can we make our ourself a classic Punisher just using this this body here so let's try it out and see how that works now the problem is so far that these actually came with a separate neck and head combination so already right off the bat with the spec ops version it's not going to work out because now we only got the head unless you can modify it remove the neck from that body um then put the neck here you know you're not going to do it so this is <laughs> this is what we get no neck punisher here it's blurry but now you see it so yeah, if you can modify it, get a neck in there, then yeah, sure, you can you can do it. You can obviously do it. When it comes to this um, regular release, same deal. We only got the head, so hey, did they do it on purpose? Probably. Who knows? Um, I'm sure they did. But if you could get a neck in there, then yeah, you can make it work. You just gotta... You gotta find a way to remove the neck off of this body, but that would mean buying the actual figure, you know? So, what's the point of putting it on this body when you could just use this body? So, yeah. Alright, ladies and gents, that's gonna do it for my review of the Netflix Punisher by Mezco uh, from their 112 Collective line of toys, of figures. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video review you found it informative and helpful leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys think don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button to see more and uh, don't forget to hit up one stop toy shop once again quick shout out and as always have a great day